Hey everybody, it's Aiden here once again, and welcome to a quick tutorial video, which is kind of the sequel to the How to Paint a Car in R Factor 2 video that I did. I think it was in November or December, so quite a long time ago, and I finally got around to making the sequel. Now, I've been asked a couple of times how to make the windows transparent, but have all the names and numbers on the sides of the cars in, say, a GT car, uh, in the case of like the 12 hour or something like that, or a Viet Supercar, British Touring Car, Renault Clio, that kind of thing, have all that still opaque and work in a realistic fashion. So that's what I'm here to do, to, to, to show you, uh, I should say. So we're in GIMP, which is a free program, uh, and I'm using GIMP because there are pretty much no GIMP tutorials for this. Uh, I've worked this out myself, but I'm here to show you if you haven't got access to Photoshop. So what I've done here is I've downloaded the FGX windows for the Ford Falcon V8 Supercar from FVR Factor. Now the actual mod you can get on the workshop and the templates you can get from the FVR Factor uh, homepage and I'll leave all the links needed for all the software and bits and bobs like that to, to do this. So I've downloaded the FGX template kit here but we've got the 2014 and all that stuff, Commodores and you know, Mercs and all that stuff. So I've just put my name on the side of the car, on the passenger side of the car. And if I was to export this now, as is, as a DDS file, you'll be in the situation where you can see out of the car, but you can't see into the car, kind of like those interrogation rooms where you can see into the interrogation room, but the person in the interrogation room can't see back the other way. I think it's called a, a two-way mirror or something like that, but yeah, I, I, I don't trust those kinds of rooms after that bit in Resident Evil 2, which I will overlay now. So... I'm here to show you how to fix that because if some people have been uh, making their own skins for the, the windows, putting the layer mask over the top, exporting them and finding that while the windows work as intended, the, uh, the names and numbers on the sides of the car are still translucent. They're not fully transparent, you can still see them but they're not, they're not working properly. Now I'll say now that this video assumes that you've watched the first part and I'll put a card in the top right hand corner of the screen for you to click on. So go back and watch that and then come back here so that you can understand what happens. So it just saves me having to go back into my Factor 2 and get it all set up again and then showing you. So go back, watch that and then come back if you haven't already seen any of that stuff. So enough talking. Let's get on with it. So what I've done is I've put my name, Millward, on the side of the car. I've used Sans on this occasion. If you want to make it realistic to V8 Supercars, use the font Helvetica, which you can download from any free font website. Uh, I don't actually have Helvetica on this computer, but I have on the computer that I do most of my skinning, which has dual screens, so it's easier to copy-paste logos and bits and bobs across. So if you want this to work properly, you simply select your... Um, what's it called? You, uh, hang on, let me just press escape because I was on the wrong tool. There we go. Right. So we've selected our text um, box. Then you click on the fuzzy select tool, select the M, then press shift, and then click all over the, the letters and the numbers and you'll have to click on so if I do that I will then have to click on number left and then shift click again for that to work properly. So let's assume Millward and double zero is my number as I try to get comfortable here. Then what you need to do is you need to go into channels and you see this one called Alpha 1. What you then do is you click on Alpha 1 and then click Visible. What you then need to do, go to your pencil tool or your brush tool, whichever program you're using. Uh, obviously this is GIMP, but I think in Photoshop you can probably use the brush tool. Oh god, my hay fever's kicking in. And then you simply just draw over the letters and numbers that you have put on. There we go. Then, deselect Alpha 1. You might be thinking, well, what's that going to do? Right, we're going we're gonna to get to that now. What you then do, go back to your layers, go all the way to the top, low, uh, top layer, right click, flatten the image. Simples. Then, 
you need to add a layer mask. Channel, Alpha 1, Add. As you can see, we now have opaque letters and numbers. It's that simple. Then we need to put that into the sim. So what you need to do is you need to export it as a .dds file you know, using the plugin and bits and bobs like that. So we're going to skip across all of that because exporting a DDS we did in the previous video. What you need to do now is we need to go to the Gmotor mass file utility. What is a mass file? Well, if I go into into here, so you need to go to your Steam folder, common, I've had to user data, player, settings, whichever car it is, and it says Aiden Millwood here because I've got a virtual ride, but you can go into the DIR file of the Chris Pitha car that, again, assuming that you followed along in the previous video. So I'm going to go to the Aiden Millwood folder here, and we've got 69 Alt, Alt, which is the original Chris Pitha car, Alt Pepsi, and Alt Pepsi Bath. 69 underscore alt is the AJ Vehicle Solutions car. Alt, like I said, is the Chris Pitha car. Alt underscore Pepsi is the Pepsi Max car that I drove in the wet weather practice session at Simmons Plains the other day. And Alt Pepsi Bath is basically the Bathurst version of that livery with the driver, co-driver and the Super Jeep Auto Bathurst 1000 logo on the side of the car. So. What you need to do here is you need to export your... Uh, no, that's Firefox. You need to export your... Have I closed GIMP? No, there it is. Export this as a DDS. What you need to export it as is Alt underscore Pepsi because it has to match the original body file. So Alt underscore Pepsi is the main body of the car. So looking at this... Team Penske car here at Laguna Seca, this bit, right? All of this has to match, so it has to be called Alt underscore something, and then the windows have to match to that, otherwise it doesn't work. But it has to be saved as Alt Pepsi X window in capitals, and what that does is it tells R Factor 2 that this texture file matches to the Pepsi Max car, and it's the external or extra window. It tells our factor 2 that these are window textures and it applies accordingly. So load up the Gmotor 2 mass file utility by going into the R factor 2 launcher and clicking this button here. Drag and drop into the utility and simply save as and wherever you want it to go. Now in the words of Blue Peter, Here's one I made earlier. So if you've done all of that properly, here's how it should look. You can see that the number and the name are completely opaque and all the textures look fantastic. So any issues, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for future videos. And as always, have a great day wherever you live in the world. I've been Aidan Millward, and goodbye.